so the CNRS is a Centre National de Recherche Scientifique, and it's a national uh, uh, organization, but I am in Lyon, in Ecole Normale, so you, we can be all over France when we are in CNRS, and he, he was in Paris. Yes. But similar field? Similar field too, I am in probability, and I'm working in uh, random matrices, mm -hmm. and uh, a bit of spin glasses, which is an uh, overlap with, uh, with Michel, and I use uh, some of his... Uh, uh, beautiful result like concentration of measure that you can heard more about uh, tomorrow. Okay, so I had also the honor to be a part of the Abel committee last year, so I already told everything about my life. <laughs> <laughs> so I will be very short and I was thinking to take, uh, so we were told to, to think about some uh, questions that we should answer and there was the one which I found quite beautiful which was what advice would you have given yourself if you met a 15, 19 year old version of yourself? So I thought that this was quite possible, uh, quite beautiful, and uh, I think it could take a lot of time what I could <laughs> tell myself. Uh, but I think what I would first say the, well, look, uh, there is a beautiful job there, you know, being a mathematician. And uh, this is something I never had the idea, and I think that. If I would be the 15, 19 year old version of myself, I would say, oh, never. <laughs> because simply it's uh, something which is hardly, uh, uh, very hard to imagine what it is to be a mathematician. But I think with this, uh, all these interviews of all of us, you have some, uh, some idea that it's, uh, it's a big game, beautiful, with uh, lots of possibilities, lots of freedom. Uh, lots of possibilities to travel, maybe we didn't talk so much about that, but I spent part of my life in, uh, in, um, in the States too. And, um, and also it's uh, very uh, rewarding. And so how, how could I become a mathematician uh, with such a bad start? Uh, th so the point is that in France uh, we, we study ve very hard uh, for two years after, after high school and then we have this concours and uh, I wanted to be an engineer, go to Polytechnic, and then I was uh, accepted to Ecole Normale, and, uh, so which uh, is also a very good school, and I didn't go to Polytechnic because uh, Polytechnic is a military school, and then I would have to do my military service. So uh, wanting to escape from the military service, I went to Ecole Normale, and there I did more and more maths, and then I, uh, I found out I liked it more and more, and then I say, okay, let's do a PhD and let's see what happens afterwards, because, you know, as uh, everybody said, it's good to try and then you can always adapt. And uh, during my PhD, I really thought it's a lot of fun, you know, all this math and all this question, uh, this life with a uh, lot of travel and so on. So, so then I was hired at the end of my PhD, I even uh, before, uh, uh, before I finished my PhD, which is something which does not happen so much anymore, but... And so that's it. I was a mathematician with a job, and uh, I was very happy that all of this happened to me, uh, even though I, I would never have expected that uh, when I was 15 or 19 years old. So my advice is, you know, try. Uh, think about being a, a mathematician, which is a great, a great job. And, uh, and then, uh, you know, if something doesn't work, try something else, and you will find your way and have fun. Okay, so have a good uh, good life <laughs>